Radio Raheem with legend Pernell Whitaker, Sweet Pea, shows up. I'm great, man. Seeing you is amazing. Uh, show up at Andre Ward Kovalev, and here you are. Listen, first, I have to get your assessment of a fight. Obviously, you want to hear the boxing brain talk about how this fight, just match up how you see it. It's going to be a great fight, man. Uh, you know, you got two two great fighters. You know, they they match up the same, you know. So um, it's, probably, it's going to be probably the best fight we've had in a f many, many, many years. You know, since, but is best man going to win, and um, we'll see what happens. When you look at Andre Ward, a lot of people give him credit for being a technically proficient fighter, having a, a better set of skills and tools to use. Is that what you see? And if so, what tools would work most effectively against Kovalev? Oh, no, I'm not the trainer or the, you know, I'm not, I can't pick, I can't pick and choose, I can't tell you what. I don't know what he's going to do, you know. I don't know how this fight going to play out. But I know one one guy's got got great skills, you know, great hand speed. The other guy just a that's why they call him the crusher, I guess. Like the one guy just a power puncher. So we'll see how this thing make, mix up and all. War got good defense, so let's we got to see if he can protect himself. Well, as a defensive fighter goes, in other words, necessarily well, defensive fighter, but as defense, care. nobody got the better defense than Pernell Whitaker. That's that's exactly what I was about to say. You know that. You know that's what I'm about to say. Yeah, let's make so, that clear now. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not trying to put nobody in my in 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 that kind of put that kind of pressure on nobody. But uh, he has a great defense. You know, we'll you know we'll see how you. We'll see what happens, man. Well, it's interesting you put that up because obviously this is considered like the Mayweather, just post Mayweather era, and defense is a huge part of his game. Do you feel like you you were able to turn on maybe more offense with your defense? In that way, do you feel like you're a better defensive fighter than Mayweather? Oh, we just switched the conversation now. Look, let's make one thing clear. I love Lil Floyd like a son. I love him like a child, and he's a great fighter. You know. I can't tell. I can't say. I have not. He. There is no more Pernell Whitakers. Let's make one thing clear. There is no more Pernell. There would never be another Pernell Whitaker. You know? What separates you? What makes you different? Why will there be another? Never be another Pernell Whitaker? Oh, I just got. To, I just think I just got a better. My style is is second to none. It's no. I'm not. It's in the closet now. It's not coming back out here. <laughs> so, you know, but there is some great fighters in Florida. Since you mentioned him, he's, he, he has a good defense. That, he has a defense that works for him. I, it probably won't work for me, but it works for him, and he's been able to uh, to be successful with that defense. My defense, I like to do the matrix, man. I want you to miss. <laughs> yeah, I want to do the matrix. <laughs> Uh, and look, right before I let you go, man, obviously you're a part of what is widely considered the golden era, just on the end of that cusp. And now fighters are making so much more money. There's a lot more ways for fights to be seen. But which era would you rather fight? Would you rather fight now with the way business is being done or when you fought? There will never be another decade like the 90s ever. The greatest fighters in the world come from out of the 1990s. So that whole decade, you'll never get another decade like that of great fighters. And you can chase the money all you want to, but you still got to get your ass in the gym and train. Were the fighters more willing to face the greatest opponent that they could get in those days and more worried about money now? Do you think the mentality is better then than it was now? It is the now? mentality of the 90s is that everybody wanted to fight the best fight. Everybody wanted to, 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 to compete against the best. Not cherry picking no fights and picking fights. You know you're supposed to win these fights. You want to get in there with the best fight. I think that's it's only fair to do that for the fans, people who watch you or subscribe to watching you or pay pay per view. You want to, the fans want to see the best fight, the best, and I think they deserve to have that. Well, as a journalist, you want to talk to the best, and you don't always get an opportunity to do that, but today I did. Pernell Whitaker is an honor. It's a pleasure. Pleasure mine, baby. I enjoyed the interview. Radio Raheem with Sweet Pea, Pernell Whitaker.